In this video, we're going to discuss civil engineering. What are the best courses and best university to study civil engineering in the UK? What are the job prospects and particularly for the graduate jobs? Uh, what to expect from the employers as a graduate job here in the UK? Uh, what are the different types of chartered ship with the ICE? Finally, I'm going to share the latest jobs, uh, whether you are a graduate, senior engineer, principal engineer, there's something for everyone, so keep watching for more details. It all depends on your qualification and your... Oh, oh, scared. Yes. oh that, that, was, that was horrible. No, that scared me. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Jess Karek. I'm a civil engineering design consultant working in the UK for the past 15 years. I provide guidance, assistance and help to civil engineers as well as to the students. If you got any queries, do use the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your queries there. So guys, this is about the civil engineering, my passion, my subject. So it's always a pleasure I mean, to talk about civil engineering. So guys, lots of questions been raised from yourself. So thank you very much for that. And I thought, yeah, I'll cover all in one video. So I'm sure, yeah, that's, that's going to help lots of people out there. Civil engineering is in high demand in the UK and whether it's the structure engineering, civil engineering, transportation engineering, infrastructure engineering, you name it, all, the, all that comes under the same umbrella, yeah, the civil engineering, they are in high demand. Uh, so whatever is your choice, go for that. I won't, I won't stress one over the other, if I'm honest. Uh, all are in high demand and uh, they will lead you to the right job. And also just to make you aware that these are on the shortest occupation list as well. You can check that list on the go.uk website. And so that means you can easily find yeah, the relevant job after completion of your studies as well. So in terms of yeah, which one is the best, they're all the best. So don't compromise on any one of them. Whatever is your choice, whatever is, is your, your interest, go for that course. So what is the best university to study civil engineering in the UK? I have shared yeah, a top 10 best civil engineering university video uh, link here. In, in Click on that link. These are the best civil engineering uh, universities in the UK. But in terms of yeah, whether that's going to help you when, you when it comes to finding the job, so the simple answer is uh, no. Uh, when it comes to finding the job, uh, it's irrelevant. I mean, where you did your master degree from or your degree from. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, studying from the top rank university or the lower university, as long as they are recognized universities, they are the best here to study in the UK. And I would suggest even if you can look for the cheapest uh, universities in the UK and if, you, if, if they are providing you a relevant course, I would say go for that so you can save some bucks there as well so that is the best choice so it doesn't matter where you do your uh, masters from or your degree from when it comes to the job finding or yeah interview sort of stage it doesn't matter where you do, where you did your degree from uh, all it comes to the same point what are your skills that what you can provide provide to the to the company that's all it matters yeah it comes to, to that point so it doesn't matter whether you you have done the degree from the top university like Oxford or Cambridge or whether you go for your uh, Bolton University or the, the lower scale universities there so it doesn't matter at all so, so what is a graduate job in the UK so after completion of your studies uh, the first job you're gonna search is is the graduate job which is like a fresher job so without any experience you will try to search for the graduate real jobs so you don't need any experience lots of question comes along yeah from yourselves what sort of training you need what sort of experience you need all you need is your the basic skills for civil engineering as as long you've completed your degree uh, that is good enough obviously the basic skill for civil engineering is your bending moment shear forces reaction uh, that comes as a technical side but obviously uh, in the interview you'll be tested about your soft skills which is your communication presentation and all other skills as well so these are the generic sort of yeah, uh, requirements there in the interview you need to uh, you need to polish that that side of your your 
career as well apart from the technical side if you're going for the interview there will be more than 50 percent about your soft skills when it comes to the interview rather than your, your sort of technical side when it comes to the first job finding the first job so you need to ensure you don't only concentrate only the technical side but also on the other your soft skills as well your presentation communication is vital for that as well uh, so that that is the important factor to find and basically tick off your interview from there next question comes what to the job the graduate job what do you expect from the company what sort of work that involves as a graduate job so you are joining a company as a graduate engineer uh, so you are on the traineeship sort of agreement with them so you will be provided with the mentors with all the training whatever it needs them I mean, to complete your job so they, the the employer they won't anticipate you to like for instance they will give you a bridge or building I mean design that from from scratch so don't anticipate that you you won't be in that sort of scenario you will be part of the team and uh, they will guide you all along the process uh, obviously you will start from the very sort of your yeah, uh, minor element design if you are a civil engineer or structure engineering you will start from the minor element design and then you progress from there uh, so that is the anticipation you don't need to do any beforehand training obviously it's always good to have more training more sort of your yeah, knowledge about all the your, your favorite subject it's always good to have that knowledge in terms of like what the employer is anticipating you at the graduate stage uh, they don't anticipate you anything more than your basic skills as long as you have those skills that is good enough for, to progress your further in your career with the employer so let's talk about the chartered ship. So there are various uh, different stages of chartered ship uh, with the ICE Institution of Civil Engineers, depending on your experience and your qualification. So uh, there's EngTech, uh, there's iEng, there's AC Eng, there's FICE, Fellow Institution of Civil Engineers. So depending on your qualification and experience, uh, you will choose your chartered ship there. Uh, the ICE will assist you with that, what sort of qualification you are eligible to apply for uh, but for for instance if you are MSc student uh, so you can go straight into the CNG a chartered engineer level uh, if you are BNG level sort of course degree then you can go for ING which is incorporated engineering uh, level and there's ENG tech as well for the technician level so engineering technician so there are different various stages but obviously I mean if you're doing MSc uh, you need to ensure your course is accredited to, to the ICE uh, affiliation as well to make sure you don't face any problem when it comes to that sort of stage so it's really vital when you choose your course you need to make sure your course is uh, accredited to the relevant sort of ICE sort of accreditation as well sure you are affiliated with those so you don't face any problems with the MSc courses you will be eligible for the CNG which is Charter Engineer level if you are a BNG level degree so you will go for the I eng and uh, with experience you can proceed to the next year chartered engineer level as well uh, but these are the different stages you can avail with the ICE depending on your experience it doesn't necessarily mean I mean for the CNG you have to do masters with your experience as well you can progress to the CNG uh, later in your career as well so to ensure you plan your your sort of career beforehand uh, if you're studying here in the UK you need to make sure you choose the right course uh, to make your way up yeah, in your career as well mentioned earlier civil engineering is the in high demand here in the UK and uh, there's lots of opportunities available I mean if, if you complete your degree here I'm sure you can easily settle in uh, here now I'm going to share uh, approximately 345 uh, sort of new roles that's been advertised by the AECOM so I'll share the link and also you can go through your relevant job there and just it's, it's a matter of yeah click away I mean to apply for the job our jobs available for the graduates for the senior for the principal level and even some other disciplines like electrical mechanical as well so
thank you very much that's all i wanted to cover in this video if you like the information uh, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button as well thanks for watching <laughs> الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين